welcome to our home. My name is Karen Harrington. This is my husband, Danny Wedding, and this is little Eli, our two-year-old grandson who lives with us. We actually have a four-generation home, so we're quite blessed for that. Um, we have lived here in the North Berkeley Hills for eight years now. Um, I came from Southern California, and Danny came from Missouri and uh, San Francisco, and um, we settled here and have been so happy in this wonderful community and neighborhood that we live in. Um, our goal since we have lived here is to become a, a more sustainable uh, home, to be uh, have a greener presence. And so about once a year we do some project to achieve that in our home. We work with 350 Bay Area, 350 Bay Area Action and the Climate Reality Project. Um, so we are very aware of the consequences of runaway climate change and are concerned about that. So it has been um, a goal of ours to lower our carbon footprint. Um, we, th we think as individuals, or we know as individuals, we can lower our carbon footprint by being more efficient and all electric. Okay, so this is the heart of our system and we recently had it installed. And this is um, a way that we combine our heat and our hot water into one system using one heat pump. And we are a beta site for Harvest Thermal. So we're one of the first systems and we're very excited to be so cutting edge um, in our quest to really lower our emissions and um, move the technology forward. As I said, I'm Jane Melia and I'm the co-founder and CEO of Harvest Thermal. And what we're trying to do is help homes transition to the cleanest electric heating and hot water in a way that's very comfortable and affordable. And of course, we've got to really cut those carbon emissions. That's what we're really focused on. And the reason we're doing that is that in the Bay Area, heating and hot water represent about two thirds of the emissions from every home. So moving your home away from gas heating and hot water is probably one of the best things you can do to really cut your, your carbon footprint. So the Harvest Thermal System is made up of our pod, and this is a pilot system, so it's in three boxes, but think of it as one pod that we stick on the wall, and that's the brains of the system. The Harvest Pod operates the heat pump, which is outside, and make sure it runs at times when electricity is clean, cheap, and abundant, typically in the middle of the day. Most of the electricity from the grid in California at lunchtime is solar. So we operate the heat pump, and that generates hot water. The hot water goes into a tank, in most homes, you only need one tank, but Karen and Danny, they've got a, a, a big home with big, uh, a lot of occupants, so they have two tanks. So you store the hot water in the tank, and that hot water is used later on either to heat your home and to deliver your hot water. So you're completely decoupling the time when you buy your electricity from the time when you deliver your heat. So by doing so, you're always able to capture the, uh, the solar electricity to run your heat pump, and yet you use your heating and hot water in the evenings and the morning whenever you need it. And so even compared to a standard heat pump system, we reduce emissions by about 60 to 80%. But what's really important, and what's really important for, for us to have an impact, is that we're also cutting people's bills, because when the system chooses to use electricity, when it's also the cheapest. So this is a Sandon heat pump. It's an air to water heat pump, and it's basically the most efficient heat pump out there. Um, I really love heat pumps. Um, what they do is it's almost magical. They bring in heat to your home by moving heat instead of generating it. So if you think about your gas furnace, it has to burn gas to generate heat. So it's always going to be less than 100% efficient. Because it's moving heat, heat pumps are over 100% efficient. In fact, this heat pump, the specified performance of this is 500% efficient. So just one heat pump is generating heating and hot water and it's so much more efficient than any gas appliance. Another nice thing about it, as you can see, it's quite compact, but it's also super quiet. In fact, in my home, it's right underneath my daughter's bedroom and she never hears it at all, which is really nice. Okay, so this is inside the house and you had a chance to see our system 
And but when it comes in, it looks just like any any um, heating vent that you would have, any heating register in your home. So our heat comes through here. We have a night cooling system with Harvest Thermal that also comes through here. And something that's really, I think, important about this system with what we're seeing with these wildfires is it also has a very high quality filter system to filter out the smoke in the air or any kind of pollutants. So uh, that's, that's, I think, very important these days and uh, unfortunately where we live. Okay, this is our um, induction range. It's an induction stove top and an electric oven. It's Fisher Pay Cal and it's a 36 inch. Um, there's not a lot of uh, induction ranges you can get on the market yet that are 36 inches, so we were pretty limited on what to choose. One of the reasons that I like this one is because um, I do a lot of cooking and I love the arrangement where I have five burners and I can, I can bridge two of them so they have a really big heating space. And this is, Eli's going to help us because Eli likes to cook with me. We cook together a lot. Um, so it was important to me to, to go with induction for our all-electric home. Um, as you may have heard, you know, cooking with gas is really emits a lot of um, harmful chemicals in our home and uh, harmful gases, and one of those is methane. And I have a two-year-old here who is... Um, said he's with me all the time. We make pancakes together. We make a lot of cookies, don't we? And so uh, I'm just, I feel so much better that, that we now know we have a clean kitchen for him to be in. Okay, and this is our electric fireplace, which is, uh, it's terrific. It's our fireplace for ambiance, and it's also a heater for us. So um, I, I have a remote control that I can use, or I can uh, have a switch right here, and it turns on, and um, it's beautiful. It's 3D, and I, I think it looks just like a fireplace, um, like a gas fireplace or a wood fireplace, but no emissions, and it's, it's, um, it's pretty efficient. It's a heater. I can turn the heat up or down. We can change the colors. Um, my husband and I don't always agree. I like a real looking fireplace and he likes a little more excitement in the fire so we can both be happy. And um, we've got the mantle from Omega Salvage, so it's a very old mantle and, um, that was in perfect condition. And, um, and then we kind of searched around for some tiles that we like. So we're, we're really happy with this part of um, going all electric. Okay, this is our new um, ventless heat pump dryer. and. Um, we bought it also with our uh, washer, so it's a very high efficient system. And um, how it works is it actually pulls, it, instead of heating up, instead of having a heater, the heat pump draws the moisture out. So it takes a little bit longer, but the efficiency, the amount of energy that you use is, um, is maybe a quarter of what you would use in a typical electric dryer. Okay, what you're looking at here is the plumbing system that's connected to our wash machine and to our heat pump dryer. So the water that comes out of this system goes into our plumbing pipes that you're looking at there. And we have that lever, and the lever is turned to the left. And so all the water that comes out goes through a um, pipe under our house in a crawl space and it goes to our front yard where there's a system where it waters um, our yard. So it's a gray water landscape, uh, gray water laundry to landscape system. We've had our hot tub for about three years now and uh, didn't want to give up everything when we went all electric. So we do have a, a separate uh, electrical unit for the hot tub, and it's a luxury that we're simply not willing to give up. It's, uh, it's special to us, we enjoy it a lot, and we're out here a couple nights in most weeks. Okay, this is one of our rain barrels. We have five rain barrels in the backyard, and they each hold 50 gallons. So 250 gallons total. Um, and one of the parts of the system that we're really pleased um, about is two of the barrels. This one and one on the other side are fed from rainwater. The other three are fed from rainwater and our irrigation system. We have an upstairs deck, and that irrigation system it feeds it, it uh, waters the plants up there, and then comes down, and that water goes into the rain barrels. So it's uh, we are able to use these rain barrels um, 12 months out of the year, 
and we, we have, they have a faucet on the bottom of them, so we use buckets and we use them mostly to water um, all of the plants we have in pots and also to um, supplement our drip system. Our, it's a pretty high efficient use of our water system. So um, our plan is eventually to put actually some um, pumps. You can put pumps inside them so that you have more pressure to get the water out. And we haven't done that yet. But next step. Okay, so we have had our solar array on our roof. We have 18 solar panels for about five years now. I um, mean, this is the newest part of the system, and we just got approval from the um, city of Berkeley probably three weeks ago, and we're thrilled to have it. It's battery backup for that system. Um, we live in the hills, and I'm sure as many of you also um, have, we, we live through these devastating wildfires, and we know it's just a fact of life that these will continue with climate change and uh, increased heat and drought in the state of California. So what will happen um, if PG&E has a rolling back blackout or um, if it's just a blackout and we're not um, informed ahead of time is this battery backup will kick in and um, it's always fully loaded at 100% until we actually need it. And when our power is shut off in PG&E, um, I think it's less than a second actually that this will kick in. And um, friends who have the system have told us they don't even know that power is off in their neighborhood um, because it's happened so quickly. Um, you know, your, your clocks don't go down, your computer doesn't know what happened, so it's very efficient. We have four batteries in this case here, and this is the inverter, the brains of the, um, the whole operation. So we are excited to have it and um, have no doubt that it's going to work. We did have to do a little bit of work with our electrical panel. This panel here um, is our um, battery essential panel. So every time that we have to go to battery backup, everything in here will work. So our um, uh, all of our outlets in the house work, our um, refrigerator stays on, all of those kind of essentials that you need will still be in operation. I uh, got my first e-bike about three years ago and my wife got one shortly after that. We, uh, we love it. I had not been on a bike since I was 10 years old and I got my, my e-bike when I was 70. And so I had some trepidation about riding a bike after 60 years of not having been on one. And I knew I couldn't handle the Berkeley Hills without an e-bike but it turned out to be a great purchase. I absolutely love it. I go out two or three times a week and uh, things that I used to use my car for, I now use my bike for. We go to the post office, I pick up uh, uh, necessary items for dinner, uh, milk and so forth on my bike. And uh, oftentimes I just go out on Sundays and go for a 20 mile ride because it's fun. Okay, so three years ago, we got our first electric vehicle, a Nissan Leaf, and this is our charging station that we have in the garage, and it's right next to where Danny charges his EV bike. So we have all electric transportation in our home also. Okay, thank you so much for attending this Green Home Tour today. We are thrilled to be part of it, and I hope we maybe gave you a little bit of inspiration um, and encouragement to also look at ways that you can lower your carbon footprint in your home. Um, and as Kermit the Frog says, it is easy being green. We did it on a gradual basis and it's been an exciting project for us and um, we couldn't be happier with the results. Karen sort of led the way for us and, and like many other liberals, I gave lip service to the importance of reducing my carbon footprint and uh, then I married this woman she, uh, she walks the walk. She made me a true believer, and I'm proud of what we've done so far. <laughs>